hey guys, I'm Eric. I'm Robin. Wanderboom. Yeah, yeah we, we have disappeared. And <laughs> we now, are still still here. And now we have reappeared. It. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we got a little burned out on cranking out the videos, so uh, we took a little, a year off or so. <laughs> but uh, something like that. Yeah. So we thought we'd uh, give you a quick little update on uh, what happened in 2023. So uh, we had all kinds of interesting stuff. Lots of, I, I call it the year of the tire. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and stay tuned to see what that's all about. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we're going to be getting back into making some more videos. So uh, check out uh, 2023 and our highlights and our lowlights. Highlights and lowlights, yes. Enjoy. <laughs> kayak was filling up with water and we're, he's on a tree in the middle of this because there's no beaches anywhere for us to go and just try and beach and figure this out so he's on a tree draining the kayak draining probably 100 gallons of water out of the yeah it's it was full and so we need to look and see if there's a crack or what's going on we could make it back um but we just gotta get the water out and it's and he's kind of stuck on the tree The turkey vulture with the red head. They have a fantastic sense of smell and they can smell their prey items for about two miles away. Now we do pay for a service that will come out and do this, but Eric has all the stuff, so instead of waiting for hours, which a lot of times it is, like we'll be three hours or four hours before we can get them get out here and do this, we'll just we got the stuff now. You know, after four years of experience. <laughs> anything? No. <sighs> Yeehaw! Hopefully not a huge Oops. repair. Well, we're saying farewell to Wu. Uh, I fucked up and didn't uh, replace the timing belt. And I didn't realize if you don't do the timing belt on these, if the timing belt goes, it pretty much screws your engine on this kind of vehicle. So, uh, this chapter's over with our uh, fun little Subaru. That's dirty. Holy crap.
it continues. <laughs> Unfucking believable. I just put another, a different one on the bottom back left here before we left Silver City. And now the inside one is blown or is dead, and the outside one's almost completely. to our regularly scheduled program that <laughs> we Eric's going to get he has the tool he doesn't have the right socket in order to take the tires off for the trailer he doesn't have the right whatever so he's got to go drive 22 miles to get what he needs to take the tire off because we have a flat trailer tire that's got a leak in it and I don't know what the deal is with with our tires lately we went and got new tires yesterday at Walmart we get to our camping spot last night. One of the tires, the stem was leaking, so it was down to 40%, and it's like almost flat when we get to our spot. So Eric had to put the spare back on. Then we came and didn't go back to Walmart because they were just, yeah, and uh, went to another tire place, and they put the stem on for us. It was awesome. Um, and then as we were, luckily we pulled off for Eric to check something, and I noticed that the trailer tire was low, and it's been leaking, so it must have a... Must have gotten punctured somewhere along the way. So, so that's our story right now. That's so exciting, isn't it? Oh, the exciting nomad life uh, and tire sagas. It's so fun, but we'll be fine. Almost to the very top up here, but close enough. Hey, back on the water. Yay. God, these, again, pictures just do not capture how gorgeous this is. I mean, the,
think I spelled something, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just sort of randomly put the uh, sour cream on, and I think I made a word. But I'm not sure what. Yeah, it's over on that side. Oh man, yeah, look at the road is just covered. Mm -hmm. get any bigger. Yeah. Pea size works. We got a spot down here on the property, but uh, our friend has kind of split her land with her relatives here. And uh, she's having a house built that's. Uh, like a 15 by 52 foot, essentially a giant shed. <laughs> and uh, this is where it's gonna go. Um, they got the septic system finished last week down down there. And uh, guys just left, just got the footings set up for the concrete guys to come pour that next to uh, hopefully as soon as possible. Eric's almost got the vapor barrier all the way up in the bedroom. But look at this, it's just crystal clear. Summertime in Montana. Good morning. It's an exciting day here. The uh, house is coming. So this is all prepared for the uh, actual house that's going to sit right up on top of all that. And a uh, big truck is coming with a crane on to pick it up and set it on there. So uh, getting ready for that. Time. Yeah, I got all these uh, old cabinets installed today. They found these, these are old Westinghouse metal cabinets from like the mid 50s. They found out a really, uh, some friends were getting rid of and uh, so we re rearranged and redesigned things and got them to work here. Uh,
Look at how much grayer we are now. What the? What <laughs> happened? We're old people now, so we can make all kinds of excuses for all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So anyway, that was our uh, 2023. <laughs> we we have a lot of stuff in there. We have a massive amount of footage that will turn into some more videos for you, I promise. And we got a lot more coming up uh, this coming year that's going to be a lot more fun and interesting and different. Stay tuned. Yeah. We got more coming, honest. Really. Yeah, we do. At some point. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> okay. See ya. Bye.